what do you think about that with the college? I mean, it's, um, I mean, is it, I mean, we did a podcast on it and I have my, um, I have my opinions, but thinking about like, in terms of like, uh, maybe preparing those kids for the professional life. I mean, I I don't know, man, I go back and forth. Like, uh, you know, is it better to expose them to this stuff early on? So they're more sophisticated by the time they get to the NFL, they've already built brands. They've already understand all that stuff. Or is it better to just kind of like, you know, keep them almost in the dark a little bit, let them just focus on their school and their sport? Because, uh, you know, playing football in college and then also just trying to get a degree from Berkeley was like a full time job Mm -hmm. Uh, just to compete in that arena. I can't imagine adding up all this other information. I mean, social media and like, you know, this and trying to sell yourself and create this brand like it just feels overwhelming. And I don't know if. Man, I feel thankful that it wasn't even an opportunity because like an idiot kid, I would have probably been like, oh, yeah, it sounds great. Um, but it just feels uh, overwhelming. Um, and I want, you know, you, you see it in the NFL, you know, all of a sudden here's your full time job and you're just trying to manage all this stuff. Add school on top of that and, you know, uh, you know, football, which isn't necessarily a full time job. So I'm wondering if it's uh, those kids are going to get an advantage or it's just too much like noise for those kids. I could see it, you know, going both ways. It's not like I want to take a hard stance and say, oh, this is the worst thing to ever happen to them. If they're responsible and can handle and manage their time, and a lot of schools are, they're hiring people to oversee this. Mm. So, you know, in terms of people getting jobs, great. You know, if you're the person who's going to be in charge of brand management and helping each one of the kids kind of navigate this and providing the financial information for them to become secure, you know, because now they have the opportunity to, become financially independent before they turn 21. What was it? Saban said the Bama quarterback deals are now going into seven figures, which he hasn't even played a snap yet. Uh, You know, good for him. Happy for him. Great. Let it, you know, cloud your judgment and think you're too big. Like you still have to produce and play. And the the expectation is they need to get to the playoff and win a championship. Sure. So so in my mind, it's like, look, if you don't have a very well, uh, very solid program, a coach who's been well-established, who's developed, you know, quote unquote, the word everybody loves culture and the accountability isn't there. What's to say your highest profiling players who might not agree with a coach or a staff or school or whatever, who's making $3 million this year, you know, which is insane to me, good for them. Well, I don't want to practice today. Okay. And now before it was, Oh, you punish them with workouts or you make sure. them stay up or you do X, Y, and Z. Then it's like, well, is it that they covet most oh, playing time? Well, they're making millions of dollars and they haven't even played a snap. So what the fuck do they care? So I think that for some of these kids that go to these mid-level power five programs that, you know, yeah, you have to take these kids on because you need, you know, you got to have your stand-up guys. You got to have your shitheads. You got to have your ballers. Now it's like, what happens when you get put in that situation where the kid just doesn't want to do what you tell him to do. And now you can't punish him because well, his moneymaker isn't you. It's well, him. I, it's like the NFL, like these, uh, you, like you know the deal. I mean, um, I thank God I never had this conversation, but I've heard coaches have this conversation with other guys. Like, grow the fuck up. You're a professional. This is your job. And I, you know, I, I heard that on numerous occasions. Bill Belichick was great. Like, this is what we pay you to do. We're not paying you for any of this other bullshit. Do your fucking jobs. And I think now, um, you know, in college, they coddle these kids. I mean, you know, like, hey, uh, you know, we always used to joke that they'd be like, uh, school is number one, football is number two, you know, kind of deal. <laughs> and uh, like, now they have a situation. I, I don't know if it's better or worse. I don't know if I'd want that where the coaches would be like, this is your fucking job. You're getting paid to do this, to go out and win games. I don't give a fuck about any of this other stuff. Go out and do your job. So, I mean, if anything, they're like, hey, um, because I bet you a lot of these contracts these kids are getting are contingent upon playing time and how much you're in front of the, you know, from the TV. And it's like, you screw up, I'm just going to bench you and you're going to sit and you're not going to make a dollar of that. I wouldn't give these kids a guaranteed contract in any way. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, hey, I'll pay you X amount of dollars per game based upon how much uh, exposure you get on that game. And I would pay based on that. And like, and that's the pressure that any coach needs. Like, hey, you want to make that money? You got to get on the field. I'm the gateway. Now do what you're supposed to do. Do your fucking job. And like now it takes it from like it, it like the day that we started getting paid was the day that all of a sudden, like, I mean, uh, high school football was a blast. You go to college. It was still a lot of fun. Um, you know, you obviously know you're there to do a job in school and there's the trade for it. But the day you get to the NFL, 
all of a sudden you're like, man, I make no illusions about this. And people are like, oh, is it great to play in the NFL? I'm like, it was probably the best job I've ever had. You describe it like a job because it was. You show up. What do you think? It was like a, a party like you see on these like, uh, uh, you know, any given Sunday movies. Yeah. No, it's a legitimate job. You show up with a briefcase and a lunch pail and a hard hat and you go do your fucking job. And um, I'm, I'm kind of bummed for these kids a little bit that they don't really like that age of innocence is gone. That 18 to 22 years old where you can fuck up and do some stuff and like, you know, not be under the microscope. Now with like social media and all this other stuff. And, and them putting this in, man, like these kids are in that spotlight from 18 years old on and the pressures are there. And I don't know if they're, or maybe they are old enough to deal with it. Look at, you know, NBA basketball. So I don't know. I'm, uh, I go, I, I flip flop on this thing all the time and I'm like, God, I just, I'm sorry that they even have to make this decision.